Hello, hello, friends. It's me, Kara Lee, and welcome back to our Hamster Kingdom adventure. We are headed into level 10 of the desert. If we can get to it. <laughs> to find out what awaits us on the tracks. Friend, I need to replant the palm trees. Do you have any tools to cut them? I spotted a golden axe from here. I think it would be perfect for this. I'll go get it for you. All right, we have got it. Golden axe, I see it right next to that gate there. Let's go ahead and see where our track uh, layout is situated. We've got a key over here, which we like to go ahead and lay the pieces of track that are non-negotiable and get those out of the way. So we're definitely gonna have to be going around that corner to get that key. Uh, and it looks like we might be doing a little loop-de-loo over here too where this ax is at. Gonna have to come through this gate straight into a corner it looks like. So let's get some pieces laid there. Okay, we know that much for sure. And let's see, we've got some ore back here that's gonna have to be picked up as well. We need some more uh, pieces back there. Hooking that up. Whoops, didn't mean to put one there. <laughs> that cursor gets away from me sometimes. Okay, and it looks like we'll be crossing between two gates here. I'm gonna go ahead and, oops. I don't know why that, oh wait, is that an incline? Yes, it is, that's why it went the other way. Okay, we'll be crossing between these two gates and there will be an incline. And we've got room for one flat space in between. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that leading up to the exit there, oh, we've got a long straight space here too. And this space, oh, wait a minute. Let's pick that back up. There's, there's a little bit of a incline situation over here with this guy too. All right, let's see. I think we'll probably be going past him this way. Or maybe we'll be coming down straight out of this gate. What do we think? Probably. Probably the gate thing. <laughs> okay, so that means straight in front of him. We're going to need corners there. And a corner to get back out. So there's going to have to be something going on there. And let's see, to get back to the exit, I'm guessing we're going to be going down this long stretch here at some point. It's using up a lot of straight pieces. Actually, I don't think we might need one there. There's going to be an incline there most likely. We are going to be using some incline pieces heading up to the exit. And it looks like we're going to need one coming right into the thing. First thing, we get an incline. And how many spaces are in between there, too? All right. So there's a good start for us. We've got a few tracks laid where, where they're most likely going to not be an option. And that does narrow it down for us for what we have to put in the rest. Let's take a look. We've got two buttons. We've got three split tracks, and we have four levers to work with. And as always, I'm sure that we will be using all of our pieces, as we've always done that before. I'm going to go ahead and guess a split track here. It seems like those two spots are probably going to be split track. And we can always change that later. This is going to come up through here as well. 
Now how are we getting that axe? We're going to be circling around. Somehow. To get that axe. So that could be another split track. And it could be something that needs a lever. This is where we start playing and figuring out <laughs> what that's going to be. What that's going to look like. Pretty sure this one's going to be a corner. Not too many corners left. We're down to four. And I think we can most likely go ahead and put a couple straight tracks there as well. Leading up to the exit. Alright. Let's think for a second. If we... <laughs> put one of these right here. It would have to turn twice before we got back to the end. And we can definitely make that happen. So let's work like that's what we're going to do. We're going to need another incline here to get up this hill. And that leaves us one incline left and we do have to get down on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and assume but this other incline, whoops, is uh, going in right there. Since we're assuming that we're coming back down that direction, we're running out of corners fast. We're running out of them. Okay, we still have four levers, one split track, and two buttons. So let's take a look here. These two gates that are facing this way, one is open, one is closed. So we can make the assumption that those two are connected, uh, which means when we press a button to open one door, it closes the other door. And because we're coming up on the right first, uh, we're going to need to put one of those buttons Oops. Let's get it on the track there. We'll put it right there next to the flat piece of track. And then we are going to connect it. Oh, those are not connected. Okay. Those two are connected. Ah. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's take this button back out and think for a second. So, let's see. We're going to be coming up. Let's uh let's get whoops. Let's get our track here. We're going to be coming up here. Going around. Probably let's assume the last split track here. This is using up track fast, man. And then this spot right here is where we're going to need a lever, I think. All right, if we start it this direction. If we start it that direction, we're going to need it to turn twice before we get back there. And then another three times. Oh no, we won't need it again, will we? Because we'll be going out the other side. So twice before we get back there and, whoops, uh, I don't think there's a way to make that happen. So then we say, what if we send it this way first, then it doesn't get back around to here. So we definitely have to send it this way first. Hmm. Or, well, we're out of straight track, aren't we? Because otherwise we could put a piece of straight track there and just have that turn. But that's not going to work because we don't have any straight track left. Or do, um, what in the world? Why is there a button right here? <laughs> that's supposed to be a corner. We must have hit that on accident. Okay, so we literally have one piece of corner track left. And that is going to have to go here. So the other option is to start our hamster. All right, let's think for a second. If we start him to the left instead, and 
he goes, oh no, he has to go. He definitely has to go to the right first because he has to be able to pick up the axe before he talks to that little hamster that's up there in the corner. So we're definitely, we're definitely going to the right first. So we have that piece right. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna come around here. So also let's consider that it could be this piece of track that moves. It would have to move twice. And if we did that one with a lever, we have we have a space to um, change that. If we put two levers right there and we connect both of them, whoops, to that piece. Then that will turn it twice. Okay. And then that gives us a split track for this spot. And I think that'll work better. So yeah, that piece is going to turn. It's going to turn. He's going to go back out. He's going to go. Okay, let's just follow. He's going to go up through this gate, which we need a button for. So let's put... Whoops. All right, slow down there, track. <laughs> Let's put a button here because we definitely have to have one before it gets to the gate. So we're gonna attach this to that gate, that set of gates, which is going to open this door. So then it's gonna close the other one. But that's okay because when he comes back around and this way, he will press the button again, which will reopen this gate. Okay, so then he's gonna come He's going to do this loop-de-loo and pick up the ore. He's going to go through the gate. So we need another button down here. We still need a button down here to control this gate. So he's going to open that gate. Okay, so the only other two levers that we have uh, ready need to control this little piece that's right here at the beginning he's going to go to the right we can actually put one of the levers right here he can turn it immediately after he um, passes it whoops that cursor's jumping on me uh, and then the other one we can put <laughs> Sorry, I was in the wrong mode. The other one we can actually put right on the other side and he will push it uh, right before he gets to that track. So, well, I think we've got it, guys. I think that one's done. And we figured out pretty quick that time. Let's see if it, <laughs> let's see if it works. All right, here he goes. Now he's just got to turn this track to get himself back out of this little corner. He's picking up the key. Alright, we're going to open up this gate. He's going to pick up the axe, come through the gate. And when he passes by this button again, he should open back up the other gate that's connected. There we go, perfect. All right, let's watch him pick up the ore. He's gotta get that. And then he's coming through the gate. He's gonna press this other button. It's a little hard to see him. There's walls all around. <laughs> but here he comes through to give the ax to his little friends. I managed to pick up the ax. I think it will work for what you need. What do you think? Well, that guy looks angry. It's perfect! This golden axe is exactly what I needed, my friend. Thank you very much. Alright, and then all we should have to do is head on out of here. We've already turned our track once. We should be stopping to turn it one more time, which should take us right to the exit. There we go. And on to level 11. Let's take a look at this one. Wow, got a pyramid in here. As we usually do, let's take a look at those non-negotiable areas. 
and get started. Is he on an incline this time? He is not. Looks like we will be going around this pool. Whoops. Let's get some corners in here. We got a lot of corners this time. We'll see how fast they get used up. Looks like we've got some room for some buttons or things over here if we need them. We have a treasure chest on this level. Somehow we've got to get through the pyramid, pick up this key in the corner. And we've got three split tracks and two buttons. So I think I see we will definitely be using a split track Whoops. on this part. To get around this corner, I need to make a tight little loop there, which means we'll be coming up one side and down the other. At least that far. Probably get a corner going back in here. Alright, so we're coming up to the pyramid. We have two buttons and I only see one... Nope, there are two. There are two gates. So let's go up here to the end. Work our way backward to these gates. Whoops. Didn't move the cursor to get that corner in. We do have an incline here be using one of those. Let's see, we're gonna go straight down. Let's put in our booster and get that hill in there. And then we're gonna have to do a little zigzag here to get over to the next gate. There we go. And, oh, look at that drop off. All right, we're gonna have to build up something here. <laughs> something for sure. Let's think here a second. All right, well, we have enough boosters to do it. So is it two or are we gonna need three here? I think we're gonna need three. Which means we need two there and one there. gonna take us down a big hill. Have to make a turn there to get past the ore. And somehow we've got to get up a hill here. Let's see, how are we gonna do that? All right, let's 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 take a look from the beginning. All right, so he's going to the right, he's going over, he's going through this pyramid. Now, this pyramid, it appears to be all flat inside. I'm, I'm seeing some different colored squares in the middle there, so I'm wondering if there's a trap door or something. Because when we first got the buttons and read about them, it did say that they were for doors and traps. So let's look at the doors. We've got one open and one closed. So my guess is that those two are connected. All right, and how are we getting through there? Let's, okay, because the exit is up there. All right, so working backwards from the exit. Let's see, what if we had something like this? Uh, in this place of what's there. 
Oh no, that wouldn't work, would it? Because that incline would go straight off the edge. Alright, let's take that back out, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting rid of that idea just yet. Alright, take this piece out too. Alright, we're gonna leave that just for a second. For right now, let's uh, let's get ourselves from point A to point B here. We're gonna need a corner there. We're gonna go inside. If that gate is connected, even if it is connected, we are going to need two buttons to work it. We're going to need one going in and then one to open the second gate again. So we'll have to find places for those. And really the button for the first one could be anywhere because um, I mean it could be right here. We can just put it there connect it to the gates so that it opens that bottom gate because that's the first one we'll be going through and then we just put the second button can just go right outside the door of the second gate here let's go ahead and connect that as well okay so I think we've got that part figured out <laughs> next up is getting through the pyramid whoops and maybe we will be employing a split track here. Yeah, I think we will. I think we will. Alright, let's put this going straight across here. Whoops. I just put the wrong piece down. We'll get that connected. Get around that corner, get the key. And then we gotta come out the pyramid over here. Now we still have one more split track. So we gotta figure out where we need to use that. In the meantime, we do need an incline here. All right, so this is the trick then. We've got, we've got pretty much everything except how to get this treasure chest. So this is what we've got to figure out. Now we have four more boosters. If this part can be flat, what if we turn, oh, whoops. <laughs> I just meant to turn it. What if we turn this piece? Have another one here. We get a booster here. Okay, maybe this one needs to be the split track. No, that's not going to work, is it? You can't have a split track on an edge. Alright. That's not the split track. Somewhere there's got to be a split track, though. That's very interesting. It doesn't really seem to be too many places left for a split track to go. Alright, let's see what we can do though. We know we need to get past this treasure chest, so let's go ahead and get those pieces laid out. And we know from experience also that we are going to be using all of our pieces because we do. question. We have a, kind of a lot of pieces left. Alright, the fact that there are three inclines left. And we don't have any levers this time, so we have to do this. in a circle with a split track and this hill 
This hill is complicating things. Um, let's see. Where would you even split the track? Alright, if we had this built up even... You still couldn't put a split that track there because it, it would take you right off an edge. Correct? Correct. Alright, well, I guess let's see how far we can get. <laughs> Uh, getting down here without a split track. Not very far, I don't think. Because we have to get this ore. And the ore... Let's see, what if we put... corners. Out of corners. Well that doesn't work then. Taking that back out. <laughs> well, maybe we were out of corners. Maybe there was a corner sitting there that didn't need to be. There's nowhere else to circle around over here, right? Well, we've had to do some funny stuff with inclines before. Let's see here. If we built up... this corner. Oh, nope, then we're out of inclines and we can't get down the hill. So that does not work. further doesn't change any of the pieces that it uses. Alright, let's look at this for a second. What if we try... building this spot up? still gonna have to be an incline, right? Yeah, it would have to be... Okay. Um... Wow. Let's take a look at this from the top. See if there's something else we need to change somewhere. Alright, so that beginning area, there's only one way around. We have to go that way. It doesn't... Let's see. Does it save us any pieces to move this whole track over one space? It doesn't, because the straight piece that we would take out here would just have to go up here to make up for it. So we're coming up, we're going through, we're going around, we're getting the key. 
We have to come back down and get this ore. And wherever we turn around, there has to be a split track. Because there's no other way to do it. So if we come down that hill, go around, there's like, <laughs> there's nowhere for a split track to go. to the end here. And turned. There's no way to get back up going the right direction. Because then the split track would have to be here. Okay, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. If we build this up. Put the curve here. No, but then we would need another incline there. We don't have it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's put that booster here. Put our two incline pieces here. I think we got it, guys. That corner goes here, so we'll come down, around, back up, and out. Okay, I think we're good. Let's run it. Here he goes, around the pool. Opening up that first gate that he has to go through over on the right there. He's gonna take a little ride through the pyramid. And pick up this key. Back out the other side. Let's just go over here. Back out the other side. We got this. He's got the ore. And we get a new skin. Alright. I knew it was going to be this angry face. <laughs> That's what the hamster in the last level was wearing. Alright. What's, what's our color this time? Oh, it looks like a little strawberry. A little angry strawberry. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save that. Take our little angry strawberry self to the exit. <laughs> That's too funny. Alright, so the gate ahead is open for us. Right on through. And even though you can't see it, there is a button sitting there. We got a little glitch that happens with those buttons where they turn invisible. And he's gonna open that gate and out the door he goes. Hello, level 12. We've got another friend. Traveler, can you help me find a gold pickaxe to mine rubies? The standard ones are breaking very easily. Wow, what a problem. I'll look around to see if I can find one of those pickaxes for you. Oh, I forgot to change the <laughs> I forgot to change the little guy to us. So it looked like that guy said it to himself. Alright, let's take a look at what we're working with. Okay, I see some places where we can go ahead and start laying our track. The non-negotiable track. Uh, definitely down this outside edge. We are going to have to go past there, right? Let's see, we're going to have to go up here to the right through these gates. So yeah, we're definitely going down this way. 
Let's get that laid in. Might as well take it right to this corner because we have to get that axe. And we've got a straight lead up to the exit there. Let's see here. Looks like we're going to be circling back down this way. Oh, <laughs> that should be a corner. All right, so this should also be a corner. And we'll have a straight shot here. We will need to get some buttons in there. We've got five buttons this time. One split track and six. Count them six. Levers. <laughs> All right, definitely need a incline and going up to this area. And we're starting out with three inclines, aren't we? Right down, or I should say, <laughs> right up, right up. Okay, let's get a straight piece here. We're gonna turn that corner go up to the gate so let's get our corners in all right so that's our beginning and somewhere along this way we need a button to get that gate open so let's just go ahead and put it right here uh, let me get to the right piece place that button we're going to attach it oh look at this trick now we have four gates attached to each other all right well, that's going to be fun. <laughs> so this button is going to open that first gate and close the second one. So we will need another one along the way to open it back up. Okay, we're going to be going down to get this axe. Let's see, it looks like we might be uh, coming back up this way and then circling around again in order to, oh, we've got to go by that little dude. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Okay, but that means that this part will definitely be filled in and we need an incline there. So there's that. It's gonna turn this corner. Go th oh, that gate also is an incline. So actually we're putting that in. With an incline down. Lifts up. And okay. So I'm gonna put a couple pieces on either side here. But I feel like there's gonna be something happening here to get this little dude. And I actually don't think we're going to need any special levers or buttons for this. It looks like. Oh, actually, um, do we even need it to go? up that far. Maybe not. Alright, let's... Uh, okay, well... Nope, there's gonna be a little bit of a trick here, isn't there? Because we only have two incline pieces left. Which means... Not this piece this piece we'll need to uh, start out one way and switch to the other way so which way are we going in there we're coming up through this back down back down and back around whoops back around back around there we go up here so we'll be coming this way so we definitely want to go that direction first we're gonna come up here. We're gonna go that way, I guess. And then we will need a circle around. 
Let's see here. Let's see if we can make it work with these corners. We might, we might actually have to extend it to the end. Let's just see what it's looking like. Okay, so if we come up to the left around, we will need this piece, which is currently in that position. We will need it to turn three times, which we can do, not a problem. We can do using two levers. We can put them both right there and attach them both to that piece. That way, when they get to this spot, they'll press the lever. Whoops. All right, that cursor drives me nuts. <laughs> Uh, when they get around to this side, they'll hit it, and then they'll hit this one just once because uh, the second time it'll be on the curve and they won't press it again. So then we need some in place for this because this piece is going to have to make one clockwise turn. Um, Alright, so let's put one actually here because it has to be after they go through it. So we're going to attach that to this piece. Alright, and I think we've got that sorted. So now we've got three levers, three buttons, and one split track left. Okay, let's follow this track again. Okay, so we're, we're starting at the beginning, we're coming up, we have a button to open this gate, we have a button to open the second gate, and then we're going to be coming around and we need a button to open this gate which this gate operates on its own apparently. So we're gonna put a button just there. Ooh, you know what? I think we might better put it on the other side just because it looks like we're gonna have to circle around over there in order to get our key. So we wanna leave that side open for circling around. So let's get this attached. So we've got that there. Okay, and then we're coming through this gate. Whoops. We've got to come over here and get this ore. And I think um, that could be where we use our split track. But it doesn't necessarily have to be because we could curve around and work our way back out. So actually, I'm going to act like we don't need... The split piece here for the moment until something else comes up that we do okay so we're gonna go up get the ore go back down okay if we press that first button that door will open and then that door will open and if that door is open then this door is open so we don't need a button for this gate I don't think <laughs> I don't think but we will need one for the fourth gate so let's put a button outside that door Whoops. And that does concern me a little bit because we have one more button. And we, we have to use all our pieces. So let's attach this. And we'll find out really quickly uh, if we've done something wrong. All right, let's go over here and see if we can figure out how to get our key. Um, let's see. And also... Okay, we do have to come all the way up to this corner because we need that axe. We're gonna take it, we're gonna go back down, we're coming back around by this guy, we're gonna come up and then go straight across here. So I feel like our split track is gonna go right here. All right, so let's get down here where we need our key. We have three levers and one button left. And I'm not sure what's happening with that button. <laughs> okay, how are we coming over here to get our key? We have five curves left. 
This is the only track we need to lay anymore, right? Where do we need the levers then? This is... Oh, you guys. We're supposed to be using all our pieces, but I... I don't know. Um... <laughs> I just don't know. I almost feel like we can do this. Nope, not quite. Okay, so we are going to need some levers. So let's figure out what that's going to look like. Let's see here. If we make... Got plenty of room there. All right, let's just pick these pieces up because they're we don't want this stuck in our head as this is the way it has to be. And I'm actually going to I'm gonna leave those two for now because let's see. Or if we came back out the same way, if this piece was straight. And this piece is a curve. If it takes us in there, then how many times would I have to turn? One, two, three, right? And we have three levers. Okay, so let's pretend that it's coming out on the same track that it's coming in on. I still don't know where that button's gonna go though. Okay, and even if this is coming in on the same track... Something... We have four corners. And... Okay, so just because we have three levers doesn't mean that... We need all three of them to be attached to that corner. We just need to make sure that one of them gets hit twice. I think I see what to try. Let's see. If we put a curve here, here, ooh, no, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I was thinking of putting that curve here. Because then we would just need two straight pieces. But that's not going to work. Okay, so let's uh, take these three out. And move those over a bit. You know, I think maybe we need to move this whole thing over. Because we need to we need to use all of these pieces of track. Okay, so if we move Wait, is that going to work? No. Get our corners back in. Oh no, we don't have enough corners then. What if this piece started this way? have to turn three times to get back out but we would still need another corner okay it's 
still thinking here. Okay, this is the part where we say, remember that part that we said, we're just gonna lay this down and see if it works and maybe it doesn't need um, a lever or something. I think it's gonna need a lever or something. <laughs> uh, because we need another corner. So this is gonna have to do something. And actually, maybe what this needs is the split track. And we put a levered piece down here. Let's try that. Right? So that just gave us a lot more corners to work with. And all we have to do is, let's see, which way, oh no, this had to be, no, if, it, if the split track works, then a, a straight piece would work, right? So it's because they're coming up, they're going straight, and then when they come back up the other way, yeah. Okay, so we'll lay it in this way. All we have to do is make sure it gets switched after they pass by it. So there's a switch because they're going to be passing by, yeah, right there. So we're just going to attach that to this piece. Okay. Okay. And then we still are going to need this one, two, three. To, to turn three times and, and we might have to get something, <laughs> we might have to get something turning in here. So how can we put a piece in here that only has to turn once is the question. So if it can only turn once, so we need it to go that way. We need it to start that way. Um, we do need space for, let's see, some levers in here. So let's make sure that we le we're leaving that. If we put those corners in, see this is not, okay, we're, um, let's just open this up then. If we do it this way, are we using all the pieces? Whoops, no. We want it that way. We want it that way. <laughs> That's leaving us an extra corner left over now. One extra corner and one extra button. Alright guys. Let's see if we can figure this out. This is all flat right here, right? Okay, we need... Oh, we only have two levers left. Is there any place in this that they would pass by three times? And the answer is going to be no. Okay, if we have the lever, we have three levers used over here. Was that absolutely necessary? What are those attached to? It's attached to that one, it's attached to that one, and it's attached to that one. Because that one needs to turn three times. Is there any way, whoops, um, let's just put it on this piece. Okay, so if we put it that way, then it only has to turn one time. Right? And you accomplish the same purpose. I think we ran into this in one of the uh, previous 
previous tracks. All right, so now we only need that to turn one time. We changed it, so we're gonna attach this one. Oh, whoops, did I click the wrong button? We're gonna attach this one to it, and we're gonna take we're gonna take this one back. <laughs> okay, so now we have enough levers over here to do what we need to do. I still don't know where that piece of curved track is supposed to go. Okay, so if we need the one up there turned three times and that one turned once, we need a lever here, we need a lever here, and we need a lever here. We're going to, um, let's attach this one, whoops, to this piece right here, and then we will attach these two to the piece over here. All right. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Click the wrong button. That's what I did. Okay, so I think we're set. I think we're set. I don't see anywhere else that we don't have a piece. We're, we're missing anything. All right, let's just run it and see, see what happens. All right, he's going up. If we need that button somewhere, it'll let us know. All right, he's gonna open that door. All the open ones close and the closed ones open, but we've got another button here to open what we need open. Okay. We're coming up and getting the ax. we pass this piece, we flip it so that when we come back to the exit, we're good to go. All right, here goes this. That's one turn. That turns the piece that gets us out of this little circle. We got our key. That gets turned again. That gets turned again. That gets us out of here. And through this gate, which the button is right there for it. Opened up. He's coming through. He's getting the ore. All right, <laughs> we're about to see if this next part works. Up we go. That piece gets turned. That piece gets turned. We return. Wow, you managed to find a gold pickaxe. Not return it, I guess, find it for him. Found him a gold pickaxe. Hey there, I managed to find it. Here it is. I hope this one lasts much longer. Then we go down and there's an invisible button there. So he gets through that gate and then he's uh, he's out the exit. So look at that. We finished this one with two pieces left over. Ooh, that's that feels a little bit trickier now. <laughs> All right, well that is gonna do it for today. Oh my goodness, look at level 13. We'll be coming back to that in the next episode. Wow. <laughs> okay, well thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to click the like button for me, maybe leave me a comment. And if you are enjoying this series and would like to see us attempt level 13 in the next episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be sure to see it when it comes along. And I will see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.